What's up guys, it's Mitch here, and today, I'm gonna be playing some Nintendo Switch! Yeah, so, um, we're gonna be playing some Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're just gonna see how it goes, and as you can see, I would create myself a pretty good avatar, which I'll go into it. Look at that, yeah, it looks just like me, bros, doesn't it? Yes, so cool looking. Okay, anyways, we're going to play some Pokemon Orcus. Yes, that's it, bros. So excited for this. So I put in English already, and I am ready to start this crap. Here we go. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. That sounds sus, but let's keep on going. It is well that Thu art here. What does that even mean? What are they talking about? I am that which humans call Arceus. What? what? What does that even mean? Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Oh, so I get to pick my own appearance. Ugh, but none of these I like. None of these look as cool as me. I mean, I guess my skin color would be more related to the first one, so I should look like that one. What is the what is thy name? Um Mitch. So you'll go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh oh man, it's not capitalizing. Oh. My bad. Bros, I haven't done this in a while. Okay, so you just go to the M. I. C. C. And the H. Yeah, we got it, bras. Okay. Yes. That is me, Mitch. Soon as thou shalt find thyself in the world, strange to thee. What does that even mean? A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Mitch. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more! Uh oh, what's happening now? Uh, uh, this is, this is, this is kind of scary, bros. Uh. Oh, there's me. Or what's supposed to be me, I guess. Oh, oh no, I'm falling! Oh no, help, guys! Oh, um, okay, what the heck is this? Oh no, my phone, not my phone! No! Not my phone, guys. I need that to film. Uh, uh oh, what's happening? Uh, uh. Okay, the bras, that, that's kind of weird. What is that? What is that, though? Oh. No, oh, my phone's back. Why is it going? Uh-oh, I'm going towards her. Why is she summoning me? What does she want from me? Why is she just trying to summon me from, like, the Earth? Is she, like, a demon spawn? Oh, okay. I guess now we're getting really into the game. Now that I just put in the title for, like, the third time. Um, okay. It's loading. Um. Wake up! Oh, apparently I'm asleep, I guess. Maybe it was a dream. Oh, do wake up, won't you? What kind of language is this? This is not English. This is like babies talking. Oh god. Are you alive, my boy? What's all the with the animals staring at me? Oh, oh, oh god. Why is he wearing a winter hat? It's not winter, you're on a beach, dude. What the heck? You gave me quite a shot. Falling from the sky like that? 
But thank goodness, you see unharmed. Uh, I wanna. I don't even know. I, I wanna ask who he is, but at the same time, I, I wonder where I'm even am. So I'm gonna put where am I? Cause like that's all I need to know. Like, am I dead? Why? This is prude breach, of course. Dear me, did your shock, did the shock of your fall, somehow addle your memory? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? Uh, I, I, I really don't know, sir. I, I doubt it. I'm gonna play a doubt it, it sounds like something that I would say. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Uh... I, I, no, nowhere. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night? Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Uh, somehow, I guess. Well, what the heck? What's that thing up there? What's with the storm, y'all? Oh, creepy face, okay. I see. Well, no gentleman would have been a person in such need. Crew! Boom! Push splash! These people are weird. Oh my, I completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Aw, oh, but do they- do you even know what a Pokemon is? Uh, not exactly. I'm assuming like monster people. You, you don't? You truly have traveled a long way, haven't you? Well, these three here are what we call Pokemon. Very mysterious creatures, you see. Marvelous. Oh, yes. And what might your name be? Oh, -ho, so you're called Mitch. That's right, sir. That name has quite a the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Lavington. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen your uh, our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three. Whoa! Oh, blast him, father! My darling Pokemon! Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three. Wait! Ugh, well, this isn't good. Uh, how do I run? Oh, okay. Um, I don't really know where to go, but alright. It's like I have, like, a map or anything. Um... Oh, I found something. What the hell? What the crap is that? What the crap is that? There's a glowing beeping object over there. Yeah, no crap, dude. But what is it? Is that my new? F is that like a phone? Is that supposed? To be is that supposed to be my new phone? What did that monster do to it? What the heck, man? What is that? What the heck? You found something that resembles a phone. Yeah, I think I just noticed that, dude. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emissiating from it. Well, yeah, if you were just caught by, like, some kind of monster thing. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon the, this arc phone, and thy mission seek out all Pokemon. Uh, okay, that was weird. I guess I'll try. <laughs> <sighs> Alas, yet another miss. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some poke balls their way, but I'm not the best. <sighs> at this sort of thing. You see, I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. 
Now, that one is Rollet. Okay, sorry, but who the heck names the owl Rollet? Like, no wonder you want to run away. Or are you trying to name him Row, 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 your boat gently across the stream? Like, what the heck is that? Anyways, Rollet can photosensitize. Ba 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 ba. Can photosynthesize like a plant. And apparently, it battles using its sharp feathers. Crew! That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whatever it is surprised or irate. Foom! The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. That sounds like, uh, like, like that, like, that bear from, like, that one cartoon. Like, Super Oso, or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's, it sounds like that guy. Anyway, Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Plush plush! Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing of how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy, Pokebar. Poke balls. Throw these at the Pokemon to catch them. You you obtained fifty poke balls. A mysterious ball that can be thrown out wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Look like something you would find in the trash. Oh well. Ah, oh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. No, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is about to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd, uh, I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so. I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this arena... Area? It's your, either said area or arena. I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, Pokemon can be caught by throwing balls at them. Hold down the ZR button and ready as a Pokeball. And take aim. You can keep moving around as you do. So use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully at your target Pokemon. Release the ZR button to throw the Pokemon out. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've ready a Pokemon, but do not want to throw it, plus the B button to cancel the throw. Okay, I think I might need, like, to set you guys down somewhere then, because I don't think I can, like, film while trying to do this. So, um, let me get, like, my ring light out. To, like, help you guys. So, just give me a second, would you? Oh, shoot, yeah, never mind, that doesn't work, because it doesn't film sideways, so I'm gonna have to just try to multitask here. Um, oh, I see, I see one. I think that's Cyndaquil, is it? I think so. Oh, shit, um. Oh, okay, this is easier than I thought it would be. Um, you just kind of just aim like that. Oh, oh, I missed. Oh, and now he's gonna run away from me, isn't he? Oh, that was a shocker, I really thought he would. No, don't run. Really? He, he just ran away. And I'm going to end up wasting a Pokeball. Come back. Come back, my brother. Come back. Ugh, just waste it. Alright, let's go. Oh, shoot. Did not mean to show my hand there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um. Frick. Chicken nuggets. Oh, no. Don't run away. Be nice to me. Come on. Don't you just want, like, a little pet of yours? Oh, I got one. Yeah. Stay. Let's go. I finally got one. Oh, wonderful. You've caught a Pokemon. It seems you've quite the neck for this Pokemon catching business, Mitch. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. 
Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon the slightest. The yeah, eggs are like little weird things. Why should I be like fearful of them? Oh, look, it's it's the Plish Plash man. Don't get too close to it. Okay. Oh shoot, he's he saw me. He's gonna run. Oh frick. No, don't run away. Come on, be nice. Hi. Oh yes, I got another one. Come on. No, no, no. Stay. Yeah, let's go, baby. I can hardly believe it, Mitch. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? Okay, uh... Where's that other one at? I don't see it. Is it, is it all the way down there? Oh, I see it. Okay. Um... <laughs> okay. Ugh, just aim... Mother trucker. I didn't say that. That was Jerry. Oh, crap. Oh, I can't do this. It's too hard. Hi. I got him. <sighs> what the? Oh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Poke balls are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, little boy. No, I, wanna, I, I wanted to catch him. Where'd he even go? Are you kidding me? Dude, that's not fair. You should have told me that in the first place. That's oh, like making me lose the lottery, dude. Like, how unfair. Where's he even at? I don't even see him anymore, dude. I can't give it another go if he's not to the same place. I don't even see him anywhere. Like, where is he even supposed to be? Oh, wait, please don't go. I need to. Oh, I didn't know I was going the wrong way. My bad. I'm sorry. Okay, um, so it's somewhere this way then? I don't know. Well, if he's right there, then I don't really know. I'm lost. <laughs> I don't know where this stupid Pokemon is, and he's starting to get on my last nerve. Oh, wait, I think I see something. <gasps> I found him. Ha! Got ya! Sucker! No, you knock it out. Yes! Finally! Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back! You see, the free Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Mitch, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but I think there is a reason you appeared here now. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Podex. Yes, a proper Podex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must of course catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon? Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to now have all those Pokemon caught. 
A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come on, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, boy? Well, uh... Come on, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, boy? Uh, you have convinced me. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've got projects to complete. This guy is so weird. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to their village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me, then. Onward to Jubilife Village. Oh, really? I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to follow him? Oh, no, never mind. It's just gonna load. See, that, that's the thing I was wondering about earlier. What the heck is that thing? Is that what's shooting me from out of the sky? I don't get it. What is that? Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. I'm not sure if you saw that, but he nodded, so I'm fine. But why are you stopping? What, what are you doing, dude? Are you just gonna look around and like take like a stroll? No, you don't have time, dude. Go follow your freaking instructor. Dude, what the heck are you doing? Quit staring at the girls. This way, if you please. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. He keeps on staring. Jubilee Village. It's come a long way thanks to the final people of the galaxy. I understand you must be more than a tad curious. The road we are known as the locust. As well as the locus of Canelon's Alview. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet and not many to do it. And since we know so little of the po little cool Pokemon, people hesitate. Okay, he's going too fast. Now that impressive building up ahead of us is Galaxy Hall, the headquarters. Okay, I'm done talking to you. You're being annoying. You keep on going way too fast. Oh, bother ration. I'd almost forgot. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. May I ask you for a wait at me at the canteen? It's just up the past the bridge here, then to the left, the wallfire. The wallflower is called. Sorry, I have a speech impairment, so it's hard for me to talk. You, your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Use the button to view the map on your arc phone. You can consult the map for guidance to your next destination and information on your missions and requests. You'll also see guidance markers when you are out exploring or running around the village. If you are not sure where to go next, stop around and look around in all directions to try to spot one of these markers and head for it. Okay, that's confusing, but okay. Uh, <laughs> Just follow the weird marker thing, I guess. Oh, is that it? Is this the place I'm supposed to go? I'm confused. Let me turn around. Oh, I'm supposed to talk to this guy, apparently. Oh, he's... What's with the green mustache, man? Are you trying to be like a, like, 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 like a for real green Luigi? Anyways. Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflower, the wallflower is for Galaxy Team folks only. You and me don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'll be minced meat in those fl flimsy clothes. If the guard will let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Lavington. He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon called Thundershock. A, not long ago, and had to take to and had to take to my bed. That is a very weird thing to say. 
But the professor, but the, but, 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 but the professor, why do I keep on doing that? But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! But everything will be quite all right now. Mitch here has agreed to help us with our podex. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the survey corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. Captain Silene? Assuming the individual can contribute to the survey corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team's survey corps. You may call me Selene. Professor Lavington has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems like he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you'll like to be 15 or so? That is correct, ma'am. Quite old enough to work for your beat for your keep, but we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or oranges. Origins. Why did I say oranges? Origins. Sorry, guys. Tomorrow, we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh ho, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Well, she is kind of grumpy. Anyway. Aloof, as always, I see. Well, no matter the rest of us, because the ba 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 ba. Well, no matter the rest of us can share a meal and some press pleasant conversation, then, eh? Benny old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Ben Benny. I actually called him Benji, that's fine. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Professor Professor Lavington, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? <clears throat> Ah, well, you know of that great hole in the sky, the way people call the space-time rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Come on. Come on, now. I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisu region. That there are, in the grass and forest, by water, or wherever they like. Our job as the Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures! It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, or what sorts of wonderful things they can do. But that's where Mitch will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quirk order, you understand. Nobody in the galaxy team is capable of feat a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three, we have a hard time catching even one when a wild Pokemon comes after us. Ah, uh, well, to be perfectly fair, that po the Pokemon that flew to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well, and it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the wee way to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on the po that Podex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure it will start to rain in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Mitch, and think. If you make it into the Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all of its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do mention. You do remember that Mitch has a trial to pass. 
to join the service to join the survey corps, don't you? Not to worry. I have complete confidence in Mitch's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Mitch, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use the, our quarters here. But if you fail to pass the trial, we put you to tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Well, it's totally not dark at all, but okay. Captain Silene's somewhat like Hisu, and that they are both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yes, good night. There's the weird thing, the storm again. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Now I need to go find a place for me to go to bed. Head of the survey corps quarters, you've been assigned. <laughs> Man, the sun is really shining today. I can barely see half my Nintendo. Okay. Loading. It's freezing up a bit, but that's okay. What kind of place is this? What's with the weird bed on the floor? That's the place that I'm going to sleep tonight. I really hope they have better stuff I this at Starve Corps because sleeping like on the floor, that's kind of stupid. What the heck is that? Checking survey tips. Survey tips contain all servants of useful and Information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisu region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Okay. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligence, record keeping will save you from such fate. Oh, this is how you save your progress. To save your progress, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll to ZEL and ZR button until you reach the save screen. There is also an autosave function you can use to have your progress saved automatically. You can enable or disable autosave by scrolling to the help screen in the menu, then selecting settings. So did it just auto so when does it autosave me then? Do I have to go and just do it? Oh, okay, this is how I rest. Rest until tomorrow morning. Yes.